Hello and good evening to a beautiful fall night here in Chula Vista, California. It's the Saturday night junior college football on what is a, another beautiful evening here. It's the 0-4 Southwestern Jaguars hosting the 4-0 Fullerton Hornets. I'm Bo Furtick bringing you tonight's action here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. Hornets led by eighth-year head coach Garrett Campbell and the Jaguars led by Coach Menares, who's been here two plus decades leading this Jaguar program, hopefully to a win tonight, coming off a tough win or tough loss that is to Saddleback last week. How did I put this on mute? And the Jaguars are set off to kick. Haji Musa on the kickoff. High kick brought in at the 16 by Fullerton. Gets to the edge, has a lot of space. Gets in the Jaguar territory, has one player to beat down the sideline and is brought down inside the Jaguar 20. And the Hornets with a great kickoff return to start this game. As mentioned, the Hornets coming in with a 4-0 record. Hornets up to this point beat Santa Barbara 27-14. Beat Canyons 26-14. East Los Angeles 51-0. And Mount San Jacinto 44-20. And Brandon Nunez, the quarterback, has his player up the seam on the slant. And he's brought down for a first down inside the 10. It's one of his go-to targets, C.J. Broy. He had two receptions for 36 yards and a touchdown last week. Nunez, last week, 14 of 28 for 257 and four touchdowns. This run off the right side and flags all over the field. That was Garnett Davis the third on the run. And sorry for the tough intro on my part. And it's a tough start for Southwestern. Getting the audio fixed here. Jordan Collier got called for the face mask. And we're getting things rolling here. The starting defense for Southwestern. Matt Robertson gets his first start out of Chula Vista, California. Jordan Collier out of Isay. Quito Friero. And the back shoulder fade falls incomplete. Nate Rocio gets another start out of Southwest. Jacob Buchanan had a nice week last week. Second on the team with seven tackles out of Las Vegas. Julius Lotuli Gasanoa, the product out of Helix. Herman Anthony has been doing a good job at weak side linebacker out of Mount Miguel. Demarion Smith and Adrian Granderson out of Lincoln hold down the secondary along with Kalen Sablon and Michael Boone, who's been playing well out of Helix. Nunez on the snap, hands it off up the middle and tackled just short. Tackled at the one was number 42, Michael Vacapuna, who had 14 carries for 72 yards last year, or last week, excuse me. The product out of Hawaii. Vacapuna again pounds his way in for a Fullerton touchdown. And it didn't take long 
A minute 10 into this game, and Vakapuna with the score. Jonathan Faubert in for the extra point. Faubert is up and good, and Hornets with a 7 0 lead. 1 10 into this ball game, and that drive was set up by a great kickoff return by Fullerton as they returned it inside the 20. And Vakapuna did the rest with a pair of rushes scoring from one yard out. And Southwestern will now get an opportunity on offense. And this one will get to the end zone for a Southwestern touchback. And the offensive starters for the Jaguars. Quarterback, freshman out of Mar Vista, Alex Wozczyk. Two-headed backfield with Ray Flores and Harlteen Stamps. Three wide receivers, Savion Robinson, their leading receiver. Jovan Young, who had a great game last week with seven grabs. Claiborne Dukes gets another start. Rickard Fleck, the left tackle. Muhammad Hassan out of Monta Vista as the left guard. In the middle, the snapper Carlos Fuentes out of Montgomery. Right guard Isaiah Hennecart out of O'Farrell. And right tackle Joey Madanonia. And tight end C.J. Charles Nunez out of modern day. And that run goes for no gain. Flores last week led the team with 17 carries for 97 yards. Two receivers to the right of Alex Wojcik. He's going to get a free play. He's going to go over the top. And that pass falls incomplete. But a heads-up play by Wojcik and getting that defensive line offsides. And the five-yard penalty will bring it to second and five. As mentioned, Jovan Young had his best game this season last week. Eight receptions for 76 yards. Savion Robinson added four receptions as well. It's a tough game offensively for the Jaguars as they only put up three points. Wojciech looks left, quick hit on the slant and has his intended receiver. Jovan Young getting started early with a big first down for the Jaguars. Nice one-on-one -on -one action on the far side of the field. A lot of room to work with. And Young got inside on the corner with a nice gain of 10 and a first down for the Jaguars. And a run up the middle. Short gain of two. Mm -hmm. 
Alex Wozczyk. Two receivers to the right. Young in motion. Wozczyk was looking for the quick hit. And nothing was there. Threw that one away. We have a flag on the far side of the field. And as well at the 50. See what the call is. Call was an eligible man downfield. The offensive line was expecting a quick throw from Wozczyk. Wozczyk was expecting a quick throw as well. Didn't get it. And when the offensive line expects a big, quick throw, they get upfield. And unfortunately, knocks him five yards back. Or actually, no. Fullerton declined the penalty which will keep it third and nine. Quick hit far side, and another flag on the play. Joe Von Young brings in the reception on the far side of the field. See what the call is. Penalty was on the Jaguars. Fullerton declined the penalty. That will bring on the punting unit for Southwestern. Fabian Lopez on the punt for the Jags as he kicks it near side. Gets a Jaguar roll, and that one will get out of bounds at the Fullerton 22. That's where they will start their second offensive possession. 11.09 remaining in the opening quarter. It's 4-10-7, Southwestern 0 here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. Last offensive possession for Fullerton started inside the Jaguar 20. This one starts at the Fullerton 22. Nunez hands off. No, he keeps it and has a huge lane and gets tripped up inside Fullerton or inside Jaguar territory. The 38-yard run by Brandon Nunez Nunez, 14 touchdowns on the season, seven passing, seven rushing. The dual threat quarterback had the biggest gain of the day. Nunez on the season. 40 carries for 198 yards, averaging five yards a pop. We have a reverse. Tight roping down the sidelines is Woods. He gets inside the 30, a gain of 11, and Fullerton moves the chains on another first down. First rush attempt from Woods, the captain for the Hornets. Woods had a reception for a touchdown last week. Product standing, product out of Vegas, standing at six foot three, two hundred and twenty pounds. Vacapuna in motion, looks like a double pass. It is Vacapuna has a wide receiver wide open at the ten, and he walks in for a Fullerton touchdown. It 
Was that Brandon Nunez? Vaca Puna with a passing touchdown. His first of the season. Five minutes into this contest, and Hornets up early, 14 0. Well, it's early. We're gonna see what this Jaguar team is made of once again. Down 14, five minutes into this contest. And the kick brought in at the 10. Nice seam, crosses the 35 and is tripped up. That's Jovan Young on the return. Gets it to the Jaguars, 38. Oh wow, they're gonna give him five yards also. That's nice. Three receivers to the left of Wojciech on the far side of the field. Young in motion, run off the right, and nothing there for the Jags. Leading the way was number 17, Tyan Milton out of Georgia, and big number 96, Michael Small out of Santa Ana, California. The loss of two will bring up a second and 12 for the Jaguars. Woshek with the quiz hit near side to Robinson. Robinson with the pickup of nine, his first reception on the day. Gain of nine picks up. Brings up a third and three. Woshek rolls left. And that pass falls incomplete. And after what looked like a promising drive, the punting team back on for the Jaguars. Lopez checks out the 29 and another nice bounce for the Jaguars as this one will roll inside the 20. Call to 19, and that's where Fullerton will start their third offensive possession of the night. Oh. 
Fullerton with a little trickery on their second offensive possession. Hornets leave 14-0. Nunez looks right, pump fakes on the stop and go. Nothing there, well defended and is brought down from behind. And the quarterback sack was by big number 95, Nate Rocio. And one big play on defense leads to another for the Jaguars. Julius Latuli Gasanoa on the tackle. For the short game, brings up a third and 13. Hornets converting at an amazing clip on third down, converting on more than half of their third down conversions. And this play going nowhere. And a great defensive stand for the Jaguars. Aldrich Arbach was in the backfield for the TFL. And a three and out for Fullerton. Great defensive stop by the Jaguars. And the nice punt will roll into Jaguar territory, and that's where they will start their third offensive possession of the Knights. So the defense, with a big defensive stop, gives it to their offense. And we'll see if they can return the favor. Jaguars coming out in a pistol formation. And Ray Flores, who had his best game of his junior college career last week, gets the carry. Short gain of three. Bringing up a second and seven. Flores on the season, averaging around 40 yards per game. Pair of touchdowns, 41 carries for a buck 50 on the season. Two receivers to the right of Wojciech. He'll hand it off again up the gut. And the running back is thrown backwards. Giovanni Barrios getting some early action here in this contest. Loss of two will bring up a second and nine. Claiborne Dokes out of Morris checks back in for the Jaguars. Savion Robinson and Dokes to the right of Wojciech. Two receivers to the left as well. He looks towards Robinson. Robinson on the out route. Brings it in, a nice grab. His second reception on the night. A gain of seven will bring up a fourth and two. And the Jaguars offense will stay on the field. Big fourth down with 440 remaining in the opening quarter. 
Walsh check. Looks right. Nothing there. Fullerton brought the house and bring down Walsh check for the sack. Chris Harm, the six foot one linebacker out of Orange, California, brings down Walsh check. And the Jaguars turnover on downs gives Fullerton the ball back in Southwestern territory. Nunez back on the field, behind snap. Nunez with a quick hit. And Jaguars rally to the ball. That was Jacob Buchanan with a nice open field tackle. Loss of five brings up a second and 15 for Fulton. Achilles Hill for this Jaguar defense has or is giving up big plays. Nunez on the out pattern, the diving grab. Did he get a foot down? And they're saying it's a catch. Oh, got to the replay too late. Jordan Tate out of Florissant, Missouri, near the St. Louis area. Had a touchdown last week for 17 yards. <clears throat> Brings up a third and four. One-on-one -on, -one on the outside, the slant. And well broken up, but a flag is thrown late. Michael Boone on the coverage. Look like good coverage from here. But they're saying he was too quick to the punch. And the defensive pass interference will bring up a first down for the Hornets. First and 10 on the Jaguar 30. Player in motion. Nunez rolls left. Will tuck. The ball's loose. And it looks like the Jaguars came up with it. Nunez not taking good, very good care of the ball. And that ball is recovered by the Jaguars. Matthew Robinson out of Chula Vista, California with the fumble recovery. And great defensive effort by the Jaguars on back-to-back -back possessions. Now can the offense respond? I'd like to see Wojciech get the ball out of his hands quicker. He's doing a much better job of that. Here early in this game, we have a player down. We have an injury timeout on the field. Looks like the player got up. We'll continue play. Six yard gain will bring up a second and four for the Jaguars. Two receivers to the left, to the right, player in motion, handoff up the middle. And another tackle for loss for Fullerton. Giovanni Barrios on the attempt. Eric Heal with the TFL out of Newport Beach. 
Six foot two, 250 pound defense alignment. Loss of two brings up a third and seven for the Jaguars. Jaguars come back out. Two receivers to the left, two to the right. Free play for the Jags. And great timing on that out route. We'll see right here, this ball was thrown before the receiver even came out of his break. That was one of the nicer completions. It seems simple, but still with the timing of it all, Walsh check. Yeah, the white cap is confused. Jaguars want to decline that penalty as they picked up a first down. There we go. And the gain of 14, another Jaguars first down. Get it to their 46. Fullerton brings four. Woshek to Robinson near side. Nice strike by Woshek to the far side of the field. We have a flag in the backfield. And the personal foul face mask. will be added after the catch. So Robinson with the four yard reception and tack on 15, gets it to the Fullerton 35. Ray Flores, the single back. Three receivers to the short side of the field. One on one on the outside. Nunez in motion. Woshek on the out pattern. And Robinson picks up a first down. Once again, you can see Wojciech get the ball out of his hands quickly. Get it in the hands of his playmakers. And a first down for the Jaguars. That was Jovan Young on the reception. And Jaguars keep the chains moving. Under a minute remaining here in this opening quarter. Jaguars had 12 players in the huddle. They get called for a legal substitution. That will bring up a first and 15. Ray Flores, the single back, two receivers to the right of Oshek. Flores off the left side. Not much running room. He might pick up one or two. Flores just short of 100 yards last week. Under 20 seconds. That might take us to the second quarter. And Fullerton scored on their first two offensive possessions. Southwestern digged in on defense with two great defensive efforts. And Jaguars offense driving. Stay with us here on the Cali Photo Sports Network.
And thank you for staying with us here on the Cali Photo Sports Network, Fullerton 14, Southwestern 0. I am Bill Furtick bringing you tonight's action. Southwestern driving. It's the best we've seen Wozczyk in two games, getting the ball out of his hands quickly into the hands of his receivers. This is Flores off the right side. Picks up another short gain of two to bring up a third and 12. I would say this drive is a confidence builder, but you have to put the ball in the end zone. And just to really help out the defense. Defense to end that first quarter had a three and out and a forced fumble to give the Jaguars the ball back in good field position. Two receivers to the right of Woshek, Jovan Young in motion. We'll go to the far side of the field. Woshek will roll right and was a little late on that out pattern. Well defended right there by number 27, Quinton Ashford, the 5'11 corner out of Alabama. Brings up a fourth and 12. <clears throat> Wojciech just held on to that one a little too long, allowed Ashford to make a break on it. And Jaguars have run their fair share of out routes. I'm sure the DBs <clears throat> of Fullerton are well aware of that by now. Jovan Young, the single side receiver at the bottom of your screen and Fullerton was bringing the house. Jags saw that, so they called a quick timeout. Fourth and 12, second quarter, 14.06 remaining. Stay with us on the Cali Photo Sports Network. And with the fourth and 12, field goal kicker Fabian Lopez out of Montgomery on to kick a 42-yard field goal. Snap is good. Hold is good. Kick is short and wide right. And a solid offensive possession for the Jaguars falls short. And Fullerton will come back onto the field. 14 minutes remaining in the first half. It's the Hornets 14, Jaguars 0. Nunez back onto the pitch in shotgun formation. Nunez over the middle on the drag to CJ Broy. Scratch that, make that Jordan Tate on the short game. Once again, nice coverage by that Southwest secondary. Nunez wanted to go long, but had to dump it off to his third option, Tate. Short gain brings up a second and eight for Nunez. Vacapuna back into the game. He'll get the handoff up the middle. And Vacapuna picks up about five. Uh, 
Herman Anthony on the tackle. Bringing up a third and two. Vakapuna gets hit in the backfield, keeps his feet moving, breaks a couple tackles, and takes about four or five Jaguars defenders for a first down. Nice footwork by Vakapuna. Keeps his feet turning. And a Fullerton first down. Jaguars had a chance. The play fake, quick hit, far side, has a seam, gets into Jaguar territory. Jaguars trying to force the fumble, can't strip it. You can see right here, nice heads up play by the Jaguars, holding the receiver up, trying to get the ball, but unable to. Fullerton now into Southwestern Territory, inside their 25. Play fake by Nunez, over the middle, has his receiver, and just too tall on the throw, but a late flag in the secondary. And Kaylin Sablon out of Morris High School gets called for the defensive pass interference. Bring up a first and goal for Fullerton. Nunez looks left, has his receiver over the middle. And nice coverage right there by Demarion Smith, the freshman corner out of Lincoln. <laughs> Smith Playing man-to-man -man coverage on the outside. Doesn't want to give up that slant and well defended. Easier said than done sometimes. Nunez with the handoff up the middle. And Davis the third with the short gain. The gain of four. That was Arbach on the tackle. And the Jaguars rally to the ball. Great effort right there as Fullerton tried to snap it quickly. That was Davis the third on the two-yard loss. Fullerton offense will stay on the field. Davis the third remains in the backfield as a single back. Woods the wing back in the pistol formation. And the Jaguars didn't have the right personnel on the fourth and seven. Fourth and goal, that is, from the seven. And they call a timeout. Stay with us on the Cali Photo Sports Network.
and the Fullerton offense will stay on the field. <clears throat> Fourth and goal from the seven. Davis the third, the single back. <clears throat> the play fake, Nunez will keep, <clears throat> and that will not work. Southwestern defense all over that. And the big turnover on downs for the Jaguars defense. Defense has definitely done their job after giving up two early scores in the first quarter. And you can see defensive coach Travis Crawford giving Michael Boone some words of encouragement. Boone did a good job right there keeping Nunez from getting outside of the tackles. Coach Crawford, one of the better secondary players in the last couple of decades, led the nation at one point in interceptions. Played at San Diego State. Wojciech looks left. The quick hit, and the yards after the catch. Nice job by Woshek, getting that ball out quickly once again. And Savion Robinson, or actually make that Jovan Young. Jovan Young putting together another solid first half here. after leading the team with eight grabs last week. Three receivers to the wide side of the field for the Jaguars. Wolchex looks that way. Goes over the top. Nice throw by Wolchek. Definitely gave his receiver a chance. Just unable to bring it in. Nice help over the top by the Fullerton secondary. Incomplete pass will bring up a second and 10. Intended receiver was Savion Robinson. On the season, Robinson leads the team with 22 receptions for a buck 88. And Giovanni Barrios on the short reception. Picks up a gain of two to bring up a third and eight. Nice to see the local product out of Chula Vista get some early work here today for the Jaguars. Barrios remains in the game, two receivers Make that three receivers to the right as Doki goes in motion. Bunch formation, far side of the field. Wojciech will roll that way. Switches fields, comes back, makes the throw. Receiver gets by the corner, gets into Fullerton territory. And a big play by Wojciech coming back, hitting Jovan Young on the reception. And Young giving this offense some life. Woshek did a great job, rolled to his right, didn't see anything, came back, filled, found Young, and Young did the rest. The play fake, Woshek. And Woshek goes down. You can see Fullerton brought the pressure. And that sack knocked back Wojciech five yards to bring up a second and 15.
two receivers to the right of Wozczyk. Wozczyk will hand it on up the middle. Ray Flores picks up three, bringing up a third and 12 for the Jaguars. At some point with these run pass option plays, Wozczyk is going to have to keep. He hands the ball off almost every time. At some point, he's going to have to keep to keep that defense on their toes. Wozczyk. Pocket collapses. Wozczyk tries to stay up, but goes down at midfield. And we have a late flag after the play. A little extracurricular activity. We'll see what the call is. And the unsportsmanlike conduct will negate the sack on fourth down or on third down and will give the Jaguars an automatic first down. We'll now see if the Jaguars can capitalize. Bringing up a first and 10 at the Fullerton 33. Flores tries to bounce it wide and nothing there. Great open field tackle by number four, Kadari Kearns out of Illinois. Flores thought he had some room on the outside. But Kearns flew to the ball carrier and made the great open field tackle. Under six minutes remaining here in the second quarter. Love to see this Jaguars offense get in the end zone. Once again, Fullerton bringing it. Flores off the right side. And once again, not a lot of running room for the freshman. Gain of one will bring up a third and 14 for the Jaguars. Three receivers to the far side of the field to the left of Wozczyk. Pressure's coming. Wozczyk is gonna need to get rid of it quickly and gets dumped at midfield again. Wolchek just has to recognize the blitz from Fullerton and they get home quickly. Almost the identical call, if not the same call on the defensive side on the third and long from Fullerton. And the sack will bring up a fourth and 25 Coming up on the four minute mark here in the first half. And the Jaguars are gonna keep the offense on the field. Hmm. Looks like Wozczyk is gonna back up a little bit for the punt. He does. And that punt will go out of bounds at the 21-yard line of Fullerton. That's where they'll take over for the next offensive possession. Stay with us on the Cali Photo Sports Network. 
See if the Jaguar defense can make another good stand here. 350 remaining. Vacapuna with the cutback. Has a lot of space in front of him. Gets past the 40. And you can see right here the great vision by Vacapuna. Nice block at the second level. And he gets brought down at the 46. Nunez with two receivers to his left, single side receiver on the wide side. Vacapuna will get the handoff again. And he'll get tackled at midfield for a short gain. Coming up on the three minute mark here in the first half. The gain of four will bring up a second and six for Fullerton. Jaguars bring six. The one-handed grab over the middle by Woods. And the nice tackle in open field by Adrian Granderson. Loss of one, actually. We have a flag in the backfield. And the nice open field tackle is erased by a roughing the passer call on Nunez. <clears throat> that personal foul penalty will put the ball at the Jaguars 36 yard line with 236 here in the first half. Nunez. Tries to go over the top, one-on-one. -on -one. <clears throat> Touchdown, Fullerton. A beautiful ball from Nunez to Smith. And the 36-yard touchdown gives Fullerton a 20 nothing lead. And Faubert with the extra point. Gives the Hornets a 21 nothing lead. Stay with us here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. That was the best throw of the night from Nunez. His first passing touchdown on the night. 2.28 remaining here in the first half. <clears throat> See if this Jaguar offense can put some points on the board here in the first half. Ball brought in at the three. Crosses the 20 and is knocked out near the 25. Okay. 
And Young touching the ball a lot here in this game. Brings it out to the Jaguars, 27. 25 yards on the return for Young. And the freshman, Alex Wozczyk, back on. Two receivers to the left, to the right for the freshman. <clears throat> Wozczyk looks right, has his receiver who's thrown out of bounds. That's Savion Robinson on the reception, who has some words for the corner who threw him out of bounds. Gain of five brings up a second and five. Clock did stop as Robinson got out of bounds. Wojciech looks left and overthrows his intended receiver. Jovan Young. Young is definitely one of the more explosive players for this Jaguars team. And they have done a conservative effort to try to get him the ball, both him and Robinson. And the offense has definitely looked much more fluid this week than they did last week. Wojciech rolls this way near side, has his receiver, Young. And once again, the timing on this play, right? Young, still coming out of his break. Wojciech throws a strike. And Young gets knocked out at the 46. First and 10 for the Jaguars. Another quick hit to Young, has some blocks. <laughs> He has one player to beat. The 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Jaguars! The great downfield blocking, and Jaguars get on the board. You love to see it from a team that needed a score desperately heading into the half to gain some confidence. Great blocking near the line of scrimmage as well. Jaguars offense just looking for that one big play and they got it with 131 remaining in the first half. And their first touchdown in six quarters of play.
It's nice to see the Jaguars offense get on the board here. 131 remaining in the first half. <clears throat> Joe Von Young was due to break one open. Now the defense needs to make a stop with 131. Ball brought in at the 20. Uh-oh, this could be dangerous. Fullerton gets in the Southwestern Territory. And the great return by Jeremy Gonzalez out of Houston, Texas. It's the second nice kickoff return for the Hornets. Getting deep into Jaguar territory. Jaguars were kicking it 15 yards back after So the holding call will bring the Fullerton Hornets back to the Jaguars 42. Nunez, three receivers to the far side of the field. He'll look single side, has his receiver inside the 30, gets by one defender and gets inside the Jaguar 20. Jordan Tate on the reception on the deep drag and a big reception coming up on the one minute mark. Nunez will keep, gets inside the 10, the five, and the Hornets score in two offensive plays. That's Nunez's eighth rushing touchdown on the season. Big reception from Tate. Nunez keeps and scores and extends the lead back to three possessions. Fober on for the extra point. And the extra point is good. And with 56 seconds remaining, it's Fullerton 28, Southwestern 7 here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. And the pooch kick will bounce out to 30, and the Jaguars will fall on it around the 25. On the scoreboard, it says the Jaguars have two timeouts remaining. I want to say they've used at least two. First and 10 at their own 26 with 55 seconds remaining here in the first half. Two 
two receivers to each side of Wojciech. Wojciech with the quick, quick hit far side. The receiver breaks a couple tackles. A helmet falls off. That player will have to come off. And Robinson with the 14, I'll call it 12-yard gain. As the clock still rolling here. Another quick hit to Robinson. Breaks one tackle, gets by another and is knocked out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for Robinson. As he's brought down at the Jaguar 45, getting out of bounds. Clock stops at 35 seconds after the gain of seven from Robinson. Two safeties over the top for Fullerton. They bring four. Wojciech looks near side. Nothing there. Escapes the pocket and throws that one out of bounds. Nice job by Wojciech eluding the pressure. A sack would inevitably shut down this first half drive. Third and three for the Jaguars here. Three receivers again to the wide side of the field. Woshek will look single side on the double move. And great coverage on the far side by Fullerton. And a personal foul will give the Jaguars another 15 and new life, taking the ball to the Fullerton 40. Woshek looks left and is brought down for a sack. Jaguars will call a timeout. On the sack was Torres and Hansbro Jr. Timeout is called with 15 seconds remaining here in the first half. We'll take a quick break here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. Jaguars back onto the field, 15 seconds remaining here in the first half. Third and long. Woshek steps up in the pocket and throws that one away. That was actually second and long. That incomplete pass will now bring up a third and long with eight seconds remaining.
Woshek looks right. And short hops his intended receiver to bring up a fourth and long with five seconds remaining. Robinson was his intended receiver on that last pass attempt. See if the offensive line can hold up with five seconds remaining, fourth and long. Looks like the Jaguars will try for a Hail Mary. And Southwestern with a timeout. Can't take it in halftime, so might as well call a timeout here with five seconds. No, I'm always good for a deep drag over the middle, toss back with some lead blockers on the far side. But this is a classic situation of a Hail Mary. Wojciech definitely has the arm. It's just whether he'll have enough time to allow his receivers to get in the end zone. Hasn't been a bad half for the Jaguars, although they are down 21. This is, as far as this game compared to last game against Saddleback, the offense looks much more fluid. And Wojciech throwing the ball with much more confidence. Robinson's looking better. Young is looking better. Jaguars still have yet to get that rushing attack going to open up the passing game. But when you're down 21, whether you're the Jaguars or any team, you're going to be passing the ball a lot. Bunch formation to the top of your screen. Wojciech rolls that way. Rolls right. He'll chuck it up in the end zone. And that ball is knocked incomplete. And that will end first half action here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. Fullerton 28, Southwestern 7. Stay with us for second half action here on Saturday Night Junior College Football.
And second half action here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. It's Fullerton 28, Southwestern 7. Southwestern scored at the end of that first half. Great individual effort by Joe Vaughn Young and nice blocks downfield to get him loose for the long score. But Fullerton with the two solid kickoff returns had one at the end of that first half. Set them up for a quick score to end the first half. Vacapuna had a rushing touchdown and a passing touchdown. Nunez with a passing score and rushing score to end that first half. Nunez now with eight passing and eight rushing touchdowns. And Vacapuna with a pair of scores in that first half. Alex Woshek with the passing touchdown. His first in a couple games, which is nice to see for the freshman at Amar Vista. Southwestern will start with the ball here in the second half. And it's the start of second half action here at DeVore Stadium. This kickoff will go through the end zone. And the Jaguars will start their first offensive possession here in the second half at the 25. It was great to see Wozczyk playing with more confidence in that first half, getting the ball out of his hands quickly, getting into the hands of his playmakers Robinson and Young. Wozczyk, who averaged nine yards per carry in high school, just... Doesn't seem to have the explosiveness at the next level just yet. Looks a bit indecisive when that first read isn't there. Either needs to realize that he needs to throw it away or make a move to get upfield. Because Fullerton is coming on the defensive side. And it looks like the Jaguars want to start with the ball in the left hash. That's where the referee will put it. Stamps the single back to the right of Woshek. Woshek with the slant up the seam. And Robinson starts the reception with the eight yard gain. Once again, Wozczyk, early in this ball game, looks much more decisive. Seems to have a better feel of the speed. The handoff up the middle. Not a lot of running room for the Jaguars. When the, pop, when the offense has progressed downfield, it's been through the air. At some point, you need to get some type of balance on the offensive side. And they're bringing on the big boys. We saw this last week. Coach Menares getting into the grill of the offensive lineman. Saying, if we're going to keep this offense moving, we need to do it through the ground. He knows how important a ground game is. And the goal line formation, the fumble. And Fullerton pointing that they have it. And the Hornets do. Jeremiah McNeely out of San Antonio, Texas with the fumble recovery. That's just tough to see if you're a Jaguar fan. Start the half with a nice completion from Wozczyk to Robinson. And then come out with the full house goal line formation on third and short. And can't convert the handoff. Now 
Nunez, pair of touchdowns in that first half, one rushing, one passing. Davis, the third, the single back. Three receivers to the far side of the field. A nice move by Nunez to get to the edge. Gets inside the 25 for a gain of eight. These are the type of experience plays that Alex Woshek needs to put in his arsenal. Felt the pressure coming. Guys like Russell Wilson, Kyler Murray have made a career out of that with that pivot step to get to the outside. Nunez. Looked like he was going to be dead in the water. Picks up a gain of eight on the ground. Davis the third with the handoff. And a tackle for loss. Great play by the defensive lineman. Pressure off the edge. And Kalen Sablon on the tackle. That tackle for loss will bring up a third and five for the Hornets. Two receivers to the left, two to the right, Vakapuna, the single back. Davis looks over the middle, has his receiver inside the five. And Nunez with a clean pocket. Did a nice job moving, creating some time and space. And a big reception right there for Jordan Tate. But a flag on the field. And the personal foul. That'd be half the distance after the big reception from Tate, will set up Fullerton at the two first and goal. Nunez, the fade, and nice defense by the corner. That's been one of the soft spots for the Jaguars, that fade route inside the five, and they're doing a much better job here today. Demarion Smith on the coverage. The local product out of Lincoln. The incomplete pass brings up a second and goal. An eye formation. First time we've seen two backs in for the Hornets. Davis up the guts. And he'll pound his way in for another Fullerton touchdown. Davis the third with his first touchdown of the night. And the turnover by the Jaguars create good field position for Fullerton, and they take full advantage of it as Faubert comes on with the extra point. And Faubert now 5 of 5 on extra points, extends the lead to 28 here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. Jaguars will get their second opportunity on offense here. Three minutes into the second half, it's Fullerton 35, Southwestern 7. 
They're going to bring it out from their own end zone. Crossing the 20 and twirl down at the 22. That's where the Jaguars will start their second offensive possession. That was Jovan Young on the return. After a game like last week, they are making a cons an effort to get Young as many touches in this ballgame as possible. Alex Wozczyk comes trotting back onto the field for the Jaguars. Coming out in ace formation, shotgun. They're going to hand this one up the middle. And Flores falls forward for a short game. Call it four, bringing up a second and six. We haven't seen a lot of play actions today, and one of the reasons that is is because the Jaguars just unable to get a run game going. Flores stays in there as a single back. This time off the left side has a nice lane and one of the better runs from the Jaguars here today. A gain of 18 for Flores. You can see the nice seam, nice blocking at the second level for the Jaguars. Flores, 18 carries for 97 yards last week. Had his best game as a freshman, the local product. Here in the South Bay, Jaguars going to stay in the same formation with Flores. They're going to give it to him again up the middle. And he spins forward for a gain of four. Gets to the Jaguar 48. Call it a gain of three. The far side official gave him four. The near side official gave him three. Near side official won that battle. Scoreboard says second and six. But with the ball lying at the 47, second and seven. Flores again makes a move and gets in Fullerton territory. Flores looking good here on this drive. Splits two defenders. Nice blocking again by the offensive line of Southwestern. We've seen Southwestern in the three wide receivers set majority of this game and majority of the season. But here right now on this drive, they're keeping their bigs in. The single back, one receiver to the left, one receiver to the right. Fullerton looking to bring some pressure. And Flores runs into the teeth of that defense. Yeah, Fullerton was bringing the pressure on that right side. Not much running room for number eight. There's too many guys to block in the box. A loss of one. We'll bring up a fourth and short. And it's all go here for the Jaguars under nine minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Jaguars come out with two receivers to the left, two to the right. Flores remains a single back to the right of Wozczyk, and Wozczyk will punt. Would have liked to see them go for it right there, but Coach Menares thought it'd be best to punt that ball away, and it was punted inside the 30, called the 27 of Fullerton. Down 28. Offense is rolling with some momentum. You want to give them some type of confidence.
And Fullerton back on to the field, up 28. Vacapuna, the single back, to the right of Nunez. Vacapuna off the left side, breaks one tackle, but a flurry of Jaguars come to the rescue. Jaguars doing a good job of making contact either at the line of scrimmage or in the backfield. And there's one thing they do really well, that front seven gets to the ball quickly. Multiple helmets always on the ball. Majority of the time when they do get beat, it's, it's over the top. The play fake and well defended on the outside. The RPO, Nunez thought he was gonna get a quick reception. But it was Michael Boone, the local product out of Helix with a PBU. Clock stops at 7.54 here in the third. Two receivers to the right of Nunez. Vacapuna remains a single back. Nunez, one-on-one -on -one over the top. And once again, Boone with the PBU. Nunez with the clean pocket. Nice throw downfield. Not a bad ball, but Boone in one-on-one -on -one coverage knocks it down for the incompletion. That's back-to-back -back exceptional plays by the corner. Michael Boone. That's tough to cover a guy one-on-one. -on -one. No help over the top. And Boone on the slant, and Boone on the deep ball. Showed well in coverage. And the three and out will give the ball back to the Jaguars. This ball will check at the 40. And a Fullerton roll will give Southwestern the ball back at their own 29. So we saw in that last possession, the run game open up for Ray Flores. Now it's combining that with an effective pass game. Let's see if the Jaguars could put another score. 7.35 here remaining in the third. Hand off to Barrios and he's hit near the line of scrimmage. Short gain of one, bring up a second and nine. Barrio's getting a lot more touches this game than he did last game. Great to see out of the local product from Chula Vista. Barrios remains a single back. Two receivers to the right on the far side of the field. Wojciech wanted to throw it, nothing there, and he'll throw that one away. Looked like they were trying to set up maybe a screen. Yeah, a screen set up earlier in the first half to Barrios. Unable to get it to him on that attempt. On the incomplete pass, the clock stops at 6.46 here in the third quarter. Three receivers the far side of the field. Wojciech, pressure, and he goes down. Fullerton brings six, and the seventh man gets to him. And that sack will bring up a fourth and 14, and the punt team comes on for the Jaguars. So 
So it's, like I said, that first possession in the second half, we saw an effective run game really opens up an offense and unable to get the run game going in that second possession. When you're able to pin your ears back and bring more guys than blockers on the defensive side, it's going to be a tough day for Wojciech. And we saw that in that last offensive possession for the Jaguars. Great job on the punt coverage by the Jaguars. As a return of no yards. Play fake. Oh, and that ball's almost intercepted right there. Great read by the linebacker. Oh, had it right in his mitts. It wouldn't have mattered anyway as the Jaguars get called with a personal foul call, roughing the passer. That'll give Fullerton 15 an automatic first down. That will take the ball to the Jaguar 40-yard line. New quarterback in for the Hornets. It's number six, Toby Schmidt. Inside reverse, has a scene, gets inside the 20, one man to beat, and Woods... Gets in for a Fullerton touchdown. You can see the inside reverse. Nice misdirection. And Jaguars didn't see it coming. Nice blocking downfield for the Hornets as well. And the 40-yard touchdown by Woods gives Fullerton a 41-7 lead. That was Woods' second rushing attempt of the night. Both with big gains. And Faubert is six of six on his extra points. 5.25 remaining in the third. It's Fullerton 42, Southwestern 7. And the Jaguars will just let that one roll through the end zone. And they'll start their third offensive possession at their own 25. So we've seen a lot of balls completed around the line of scrimmage within 10 yards or near the line of scrimmage. Not a lot of deep balls have been completed here today by this offense. But we saw in that first offensive possession in the second half, the run game opened up. Jaguars back with four receivers. Player in motion, and that play is blown up in the backfield. And Raymond Flores, tough sledding. 
Loss of four brings up a second and 14. Now past the five minute mark. Jaguars back out with the double double formation. Flores remains in the game as a single back. Quick hit near side. And that ball falls incomplete. Intended receiver was Joe Von Young, who's had another exceptional night. Has the only touchdown for the Jaguars here today in that first half. Incomplete pass brings up a third and 14 with 435 remaining in the third. Jaguars offense doesn't get something going and maintain possession. It could get ugly very quickly. Well check. Far side, one on one. And that ball falls incomplete again. Savion Robinson, the intended receiver. And the incomplete pass will bring up a fourth down and punt team back on for the Jaguars. We haven't seen a fake punt from the Jaguars. I don't know if this is the time to do it. But no guys at the second level for Fullerton get a guy to leak out maybe. The high booming kick will bounce in Jaguar territory and check backwards in Fullerton. We'll start their next offensive possession in Southwestern Territory at their own 37. I wanna say this is their third or fourth drive that they're starting in plus territory. 418, remaining in the third. Garrett Larson, six foot four quarterback out of Kaysville, Utah, checks in for the first time today. He looks left, eludes pressure. He'll tuck and run with some space in front, and he'll get out of bounds for a first down. Nice recognition by Larson. Not seeing any. Open receivers downfield. Picks up 11 for a first down. Jonathan Sewell, product out of Grove Hill, Alabama. 5'11", 215 pound back is the single back next to Larson. Two receivers on the far side of Larson. He'll hand it off to Sewell, who trips up near the line of scrimmage. He gets back to the original line of scrimmage for no gain. That'll bring up a second and 10 for the Hornets. Coming up on the three minute mark here in the third quarter, it's been all Fullerton. Sewell, the single back. Larson checks at the line. Jaguars bring six. Sewell runs right into the blitz for a short gain, bringing up a third and long. We've seen Faubert, six of six on his extra points. Has yet to have a field goal attempt here today. Every time Fullerton has gotten this deep in the Jaguar territory, they finished coming out in the I formation. Let's gotta run this one up the gut again. And the first rushing attempt by Andres. 
Misig Dunkombe out of Texas. And Fullerton will be satisfied with the field goal attempt. And the 37-yard tip from Faubert is up and good. So six of six on extra points. And one of one on field goal attempts for Faubert. Having himself a nice night. I'll extend the lead. Fullerton 42. Or actually Fullerton 45. Southwestern 7. Here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. Charles Vio Riel. On the kickoff. And Jaguar is going to have a chance here. This one checks back in the field of play. That's just tough football right there. The returners thought it was going to check back into the end zone. And unfortunately for the Jaguars, it checked back into the field of play. <clears throat> 99 yard touchdown? It's possible. That'd be a sight for sore eyes, that's for sure. 137, remaining the third. If the Jaguars could drive down 99 yards, that would be a great confidence booster for this young football team. Coming out in goal line formation. And once again, the ball is loose. Woshek couldn't come up with the snap cleanly. Players at the bottom of the pile scratching for the ball. And it looks like Fullerton came up with it. And they did. So we've seen Southwestern come out in that goal line full house formation twice and unable to get a clean handoff. We'll check on the snap once again. Just had difficulties bringing it in under snap. The you know, majority of this season he's gone from behind snap in shotgun formation. We saw him last game go under snap and he did just fine. But today having difficulties and it'll be interesting to see how long they keep Wojciech in. He's having a difficult second half here at Divorce Stadium. Misik Dukumbe. The back. Up the guts. Walks in for a Fullerton touchdown. And Dukumbe extends the lead 51-7 here at Divorce Stadium. So the special teams miscue and the muff snap gives Fullerton another golden opportunity and as they have all game, they convert. Fober still 100% on his extra points, now seven of seven and added that field goal as well on that last 
Offensive drive for Fullerton. This is where you get to really see what these players are made of here at Southwestern. Down 45 with 110 remaining in the third. I highly doubt the returners are going to let the ball bounce inside the five after learning from that last mistake. Viorel back on. Two new returners in for Southwestern after their last miscue. They're going to get opportunity to return it. Brought in at the five. Return left. And the big hit by the Hornets. Looked like the block was set up right. The returner goes left. And gets to the 17 for a 12-yard return. Wojciech remains in the game. 102 remaining in the third quarter. And game resumes. Ray Flores remains the single back. Three receivers to the left of Wojciech. He goes to the single side at the top of your screen. And the quick hit for a short gain. Savion Robinson, the receiver, with another reception. Now we're under a minute remaining here in the third quarter. The short pass game is, is definitely there. Uh, Jaguars have shown the ability to get the ball out of Wojciech's hands quickly, and he can make those throws, but now it's that next level. It's the second level throw. And that one almost went the other way. And when all these balls are thrown within five yards in the line of scrimmage, the corners and safeties start creeping up. You saw right there the read by the near side corner. Incomplete pass stops the clock at 24 seconds. Southwestern just needs a good drive to gain some confidence. The defense has done a good job today. You can't fault them, but a lot of three and outs and a lot of incomplete passes here in the second half. Nice PBU by number 16, Moyne Gamage. The defensive back out of Inglewood, California. Intended receiver was Savion Robinson, unable to bring it in. And another three and out for the Jaguars, brings on the punt team. Returner with his heels at the Fullerton 46. Fabian Lopez getting his money's worth here today. Nice punt from Lopez. And no fair catch called. At least I didn't see any fair catch called. And flags were thrown on that one. A lot of laundry on the field. Most likely called for a kicker interference or interference on the return. Yeah, kick catch interference. Now we'll tack on 15 and bring the ball back into plus territory for the Hornets. So now three straight offensive possessions for the Hornets. They're starting in Jaguar territory. This ball is going to be at the 39.
And Nathan Cornley, six foot one freshman quarterback out of Via Park, California. He'll keep up the middle, breaks one tackle. He's brought down at the 36. So we've seen four straight offensive possessions with new quarterbacks in for the Hornets. The clock has stopped at four seconds. The Jaguars get called with a face mask. So add 15 at the end of the run. Automatic first down for the Hornets. And that will end a tough third quarter for Southwestern. Stay with us here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. And it's our fourth quarter action here at DeVore Stadium. Nathan Cornerly, the pump fake, the double move near side in the end zone. Touchdown, Hornets. The one on one coverage. Beautiful ball from Cornerly. Receiver gets on the other side of the corner. And that's a nice play right there by the Hornets. It's tough to cover a double move when you're in one-on-one -on -one coverage. And Fober on for the extra point. And he remains true. So once again, Fullerton starts in plus territory and converts on a touchdown. Brings the score 59-7 here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. Still a full quarter remaining here at DeVore Stadium, and it's been all Fullerton in the second half. Jaguars were down 21, and Fullerton has now put up 21 points in a quarter. Brought on multiple quarterbacks, and all quarterbacks have finished drives with points on the board. This ball brought in inside the five. And Jaguars unable to get to the 20 on the return. Fifteen yards on the return, and Jaguars will start inside their 20 with 14:47 remaining in the fourth.
Wojciech back on the field. Giovanni Barrios. Product out of Chula Vista. Single back. Robinson in motion. Looks a bit confused. Goes to the wide side of the field. Quick hit to Robinson in the flats. Pass complete to Robinson, but a gain of zero. Good job by Fullerton and rallying to the ball. Nice open field tackle. Wojciech definitely has more completions this game than he did last game. No doubt about that. Just the inability to stretch the field has been the Achilles heel for this Jaguars offense. And also the inability to, to run the ball effectively. Barrios in motion. Wojciech will tuck and run. Gets to the edge, makes one defender miss, and gets tackled near the first down marker. That's Wojciech's best run of the night. Looks like he's about one yard short of the first down. Oh, no, they're going to give it to him. Gain of 10. And a first down for Alex Wojcik using his legs. His first, first down of the night. As mentioned in high school, Wojcik averaged nine yards per pop. Over 40 touchdowns his senior year. Player in motion again, Wojcik. Nothing downfield, he'll tuck and run. And a gain of three is better than a sack. Wojciech doing a better job of climbing the pocket, not allowing himself to get too deep with little running room. Coming up on 13 minutes remaining in regulation. It would be nice to see if Southwestern can end on a high note here on the offensive side to gain some confidence heading into the week. Two receivers to the far side of Wojciech. Barrios off the right side, gets to the edge. And a flag is thrown by the near sideline referee. That was Barrios' best run of the night. So the gain of 11 by Giovanni Barrios. Penalty declined first down Southwestern. So first time today, we've seen Wojciech use his legs for a first down and Barrios with the first first down on the rush attempt. Robinson on the reception. He's twirled out of bounds at the 46. Gain of seven, bringing up a second and three. Even though Jaguars only have seven points on the board, Robinson having another solid day here today. Before tonight's contest, led the team with more than 20 receptions, the only receiver at that mark. Jovan Young did lead the team in receiving yards. Wojciech. Tries to go deep, one-on-one, -on -one, has his man. And looked like the intended receiver just lost the ball in the air. Jovan Young, nice coverage on the backside by the Fulton cornerback. Incomplete pass, stops the clock at 12.02. Third and three for the Jags. Two receivers are left, two to the right. Quick hit near side to Robinson. Robinson makes one defender miss, can't get by the second. Tackled near the first down marker. And it looks like Robinson got just enough for another Jaguars first down. 
That's the same play Jovan Young scored in a similar part of the field. This time Robinson making that first defender miss and getting just enough for a first down. Giovanni Barrios remains in the game as a single back. Two receivers to the left, to the right of Wojciech. Wojciech, play fake, has his receiver on the wheel route and overthrows his intended receiver. Incomplete pass brings up a second and ten for the Jaguars. As number 19, Derek Patterson checks back in for the Jags. Alex Wojcik looks his way, completes the pass in Fullerton territory. And first reception by Claiborne Dokes, local product out of Morris. Got the start here today. Got the start last week as well. Had a couple receptions. His first reception of the night. It's mostly been the Young and Robinsons here on the offensive side. Wolf's check. Looks over the middle. And that ball goes to the hands of his intended receiver, Joe Von Young. Nice coverage by Antonio Hall, the 5'11 defensive back out of Memphis, Tennessee. Incomplete pass stops the clock at 10.32, remaining in regulation. Fourth and six. Barrios remains single back. Wojciech rolls right, pressure up the middle, and the interception slash fumble. And the big man, number 99, Ryan Alamo. I'm sure he wanted to score, but he'll take the turnover. As Wojciech rolled right and had nothing there. That's a lineman's dream right there. Ball pops up into his mitts. And Alamo out of Cypress, California, the six foot six, 260 pound defensive lineman with a fumble recovery. Toby Schmidt into the game, hands it off. So we've seen Toby Schmidt, Nathan Cornelly, Brandon Nunez, who's their starter, Garrett Larson, also had a few snaps. So the Hornets getting their players in in this contest here tonight. Schmidt stands at six foot one, 200 pounds, the freshman out of Tustin, California. Schmidt will keep the handoff for a loss of two. Williams out of Lawndale, California, the single back in for the Hornets. Coming up on the nine-minute mark here in the fourth quarter. Schmidt looks over the middle, has one-on-one -on -one coverage, steps up, eludes pressure, finds an open receiver at the 30, gets inside the 20, makes two defenders miss, and almost got away. That was Woods on the reception. Woods had the nice inside reverse for a touchdown. 
And Woods shows his explosiveness with the ball in his hands, made a couple defenders miss in open field. Gets tackled at the Jaguar 15 yard line. Coming up on eight and a half minutes here in regulation. Nice job by Smith. Climbing the pocket and eluding pressure. Finding Woods in open space. Hornets in I formation. Run off the left side. Nice block at the 10. And the Hornets will walk in for the score. Nice job by Misik Dukombe. But a flag was thrown in the backfield and it'll be brought back. Offensive holding. Nice blocking off that left side by the Hornets, but that lane created from the hold. Tukumbe will remain in the game in I formation. He'll get the handoff again up the middle. The ball's loose and recovered by Fullerton at the Jaguars 21. Now under eight minutes remaining in regulation. Once again, the handoff off the right side and gets knocked out of bounds inside the 10. So Southwestern after this game, a much needed bye, will head to Mount San Jacinto for their homecoming game. Then we'll get back-to-back -back home games on October 21st and October 28th. The 21st, they'll take on Riverside. And on the 28th, they'll take on San Diego Mesa for their last home game of the season. Ducumbe plows his way forward inside the five. Keeps his feet moving. No whistle is blown. And that'll be a first down run for Fullerton. Gain of seven gets it to the two. Hornets are going to remain in goal line formation. This is Sewell, the running back. Sewell gets hit. Near the line of scrimmage. Nice play right there by linebacker Herman Anthony out of Mount Miguel. Hitting Sewell. One on one in the hole. Jonathan Sewell, the 5'11", 215-pound back out of Alabama. One-yard gain will bring up a second and one, or a second and goal at the one. Sewell runs into the quarterback. The ball's loose, but the whistle was blown. That would have been nice for Demarion Smith. No gain. Coming up on the five minute mark here in regulation. The loss of one. Third and goal. Bad snap. And Jaguars come up with it. We have some open space to work with. 
And the Jaguars with the turnover, with their backs against the wall. Great to see for a defense that has given up 59 points here today. You'd love to see the effort by the Jaguars, even though they're down and out. Jacob Buchanan. Thought he might take that. There is a player down on the field with 4.45 remaining in regulation. It is a Fullerton player at the two-yard line. It's nice to see him walk off under his own power. So the Jaguars defense with a nice defensive stop with their backs against the goal line. See if the offense can get something going here. Looks like a new quarterback into the game for the Jaguars. Run up the middle. Jao Arede, we saw him at this point in the game last week when the game was out of reach late in the fourth quarter, come on and try to create a spark on offense. Stamps the single back, gets the handoff off the right side. And number 99, Ryan Alamo having a game here late in the fourth quarter with the tackle at the line of scrimmage. We have a flag on the near side of the field. So the five-yard penalty will give the Jaguars a first down. So that will end Alex Wojcik's night. Another tough night for the young freshman. A lot of growing pains. But he did look better this week than he did last week. Which is good news against a tough team in Fullerton. Fullerton coming this game undefeated. One of the better junior college programs in California coming off a 10-2 and two season. And Southwestern's going to call a timeout with 3.39 remaining in the fourth quarter. We're going to take a quick break here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. Back with you here on the Kelly Photo Sports Network. Three receivers to the far side of the field of Arede. Stamps remains a single back. Arede near side. Overthrows his intended receiver. Ball falls incomplete with 335 remaining in the fourth. It's good to see some new faces for the Jaguars get some looks here late in this game.
Two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right of Arete. He looks near side. He'll tuck and run with no receivers open. Breaks a couple tackles, is held up, and is rocked at the 40. Couple yards short of the first down, but nice recognition by Arete. No one opened downfield and just tucked and run. The freshman quarterback stands six foot four, 200 pounds, at an IMG Academy in Florida. You, you talk about top football programs at the high school level, and that's it right there. Receiver in motion. Stamps with the handoff, and he's blown up in the backfield. That defensive line of Fullerton not allowing any space here in the fourth quarter, let alone all game. Other than that one offensive possession to start the second half, there's been little to no running room for the Jaguars. The loss of three or four will bring up Fourth and five, and this is fourth down territory coming up on the two-minute mark here in regulation. Two receivers to the left, two to the right of Arete. Looks near side, has a player on the slant. And Savion Robinson brings it in, heading to the ground on the nice reception. Nice job by Arede slinging it on the slant. Jaguars pick up a first down. 140 and counting. Stamps remains a single back. Stamps will get the handoff up the middle. Crosses the 45. Three receivers to the far side of the field to the left of Arete. Stamps remains a single back in the left hip pocket of the quarterback. Stamps will get the handoff. Tackle near midfield. Now 45 seconds and counting. Here in the fourth quarter. We have a timeout by Southwestern. They're going to look to stop the clock to try to get some more game time experience for some of these younger players. So as mentioned, after this game, Southwestern will head into their bye week. Then after their bye week, we'll head on the road October 14th to Mount San Jacinto. Then we'll get back-to-back -back home games against Riverside and end their home game regular season contest against Mesa College, which looks like the team to beat in San Diego for junior colleges. They could win that one. That would definitely be a, the Super Bowl for Southwestern. as they have had tough sledding halfway through the season. Third and five, Reddit. Two receivers to the left, two to the right. Near side, slings it. Oh, and that one almost went the other way. Pass was intended for Robinson. And Jordan Thompson, the defensive back out of Texas, almost took that one to the house. Incomplete pass will bring up a fourth and five for the Jaguars at their own 48.
Fullerton bringing the house and the sack already brought down. Number 33, Diego Diaz ends the night for Southwestern on the offensive side. Five foot ten sophomore out of Frisco, Texas. Came up the gut clean and as Fullerton's done most of the night on the defensive side, whenever the Jaguars have been in third and long or fourth down plays, Fullerton has brought the house and they stung the Jaguars here tonight. Victory formation for the Hornets. And that will do it for tonight's contest. As the Hornets improve to 5-0, the Jaguars drop to 0-5 as Southwestern will head into their bye week and travel after their bye week to Mount San Jacinto. Thank you for watching junior college football coverage here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. I'm Bo Furtick signing off. Good night.